And we are here, Justin, at Great American Bash. And the most patriotic pay-per-view of the year. Yes, Justin. sir. You're at you the... just feel the patriotism surging through you. Yeah, especially because you're in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Chad. Oh, it doesn't get more American than Alabama. I was watching a video where Charles Barkley said they invented tooth- toothbrushes in Tuscaloosa. Because That's no one... No one in Alabama have teeth. They just have one tooth. That's why it's a toothbrush, not a oh, teeth man. brush. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well. And, that, and, and that's why everybody who showed up to the venue today got a special WCW toothbrush. And floss for their one tooth. And, and floss, yes, correct, because it's important to floss. No, no, we're joking. The kids of Alabama, we, the people of Alabama, we love uh, you. Justin, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little nervous about this pay-per-view. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate that you had to go up against a stack show like yeah. King of the Ring. Yep. And it's unfortunate uh, that you're going after last year's show, which was main evented by Raven and Bret Hart and Owen Hart, Hulk Hogan. Yep. Um, and the Syndicate. Um, Rey Mysterio, Kip James. Chono and Tenzon against DNA. And uh, Scott Steiner and Kevin Nash versus Best of the Best. Yeah, damn. In 97, Cutie Suzuki against Charmel, Bubba against Stardust, Mick Foley, Tommy, and Bubba against Hall. And, uh, that happened. Chavo, Brutus, Horace Hogan, and Booty Cake. Hogan's mates were on a match. All right, Chad, this is a big show. Can you? Uh, I think you're going to do fine. I think this is going to be a fine show, Chad. That's, I hope so. I think so, so, too. Let's get into it. We start off with a pre-show bout. This did better than I thought it was going to. And a pre- poor pre-show bout. Shark Boy defeated Bob Sapp with a shark arana. Yeah, this was a match. Bob Sapp, uh, this is the face he made when he took the shark arana. Yeah. And after ah, the match. Somebody <laughs> help. Ah. And after the match, ah, Samoa comes out. He's going to break my arm. arm. Ah. Yeah, just <laughs> Just to ensue that no members of Tap Out Crew get involved in their steel cage match tonight. Ugh. And then Justin's pre-show match, Billy Kidman versus Super Crazy, uh, where Super Crazy defeats Kidman with a crazy What the bomb. fuck, man? Come on, Kidman, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. And we start the show off. Uh, Shark Boy and Lodi, they're back out there. They're having a good old American barbecue, Justin. Oh, they, they got, got the babes. Going. They got a grill with, with burgers going. They got clam juice in each hand. And, and 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 Sharp Boy says, Lodi, what do you think of this clam juice? And sure, Lodi's like, you know, Sharp Boy, these clam juices are great. But you know what would be better than this clam juice? He's like, what's that? And then Tori and Rain show up. And he's like, clam. And then they all celebrate... Yeah, like, great being a Amer- being Americans while eating burgers and having a grand old time. Yikes! <laughs> All right, we move on. Let's start the show, Chad. We've oh got, no! We've got the first elimination match, and Justin, this is an upset because this man came in probably the biggest man in the competition and probably an odds-on favorite. But alas, Justin. First and an one gone, match, big the Dave. First one eliminated from Tough Enough. <laughs> Shelton Benjamin defeats Dave Batista. That's so fucked up. Poor Dave Batista. Live by the random, die by the random. Oh man, he didn't deserve this. Jeremy Borash comes out and he says, "Hey Batista, unfortunately you have been eliminated from Tough Enough, which I guess proves that you are." And then. Batista snaps and power bombs Jeremy Borash. What the fuck? Big Dave power bombed Borash? Yes. That's mean. Now we've got a two on three handicap match and an about that had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. AJ and Rey Mysterio defeat Lance Storm and Team Canada when AJ pinned Eric Young with a spinal tap. Good Jesus Christ. This this was a match. Obviously, it's Great American Bash. You can't have Team Canada win. You can't have... Of course. It's the rules. No Canadians can win this match. And, and any match tonight. Oh, well, maybe. Who knows? Queen Charmel versus China. Women's championship match. And China defeated Queen Charmel by disqualification. Basically, 
Queen Charmel, she was about ready to, lo to, to lose the match. And then, you know what she did, Justin? The referee went over to her and she said, don't talk to me, peasant, and slapped the ref in the face. The ref then DQ'd Queen Charmel. She rolled out of the wing, grabbed her belt, grabbed her Miss Starcade sash, grabbed her crown, and walked to the back. And China is fuming. Oh, man. That's going to set up something down the line between the two because China never lost. But she's still not champion. Goldberg is shown. It shows a video of him winning the main event at Triple Mania, defending the global championship, and it shows him just having a big old party in Mexico. Why is he never here? He's he's defending the global championship. You need him here, Chad. Where's Goldberg? Get him here. And Justin, we've got a tag team oh. title match. So <laughs> the FBI, the FBI, come out. And then Rob Van Dam and Suzuki come out. And then Planet Ahmed shows up. And what we thought was going to be D'Lo and Big Daddy V. Big Daddy V comes back, comes out. But then, all of a sudden, Ahmed shows up. Ahmed is back from injury. And he's here to represent Team Planet Ahmed for this tag team title match. And in a good match, Big Daddy V and Ahmed, Justin, defeat FBI and Minoru Suzuki and Rob Van Dam. What a match. And wins the WCW Tag Team. Team championships. Good for these. Good for the tag team belts flopping back and forth. We love it. Um, they, I think they, maybe they found a, a nice home now. Three champs in three months. We love it. By the way, Justin, Team D, to Planet Ahmed, they celebrate. By the way, what? Holding up their tag team championships. Championships. champions. They are, they are the champions. The champions. Uh, and speaking of tag teams who want to be champions, we got the Outsiders and the Dudley Boys in an ODQ match. And in a good match, the Dudley Boys defeat the Outsiders in a two-on-two -two no DQ match when Bubba Ray pins Scott Hall with a Dudley death drop. Yes, sir. Uh, this match kind of not good. Not as good as I was hoping it was. Bubba was this off. This was one of those matches that I was hoping was going to uh, be better. Yeah, maybe back in, uh, well, look at Devon and Dudley, they're, uh, the bubble. They're not as over as you would think they were. Or not as good in the ring anymore. Ah, here we go. All right, <laughs> Owen versus Shannon Moore. And about that superb wrestling, Justin, a Canadian went over. Owen Hart defeats Shannon Moore with a sharpshooter. Yeah, what a match. After the um, match, Shannon Moore and Owen Hart, they, they shake hands. They kiss. Owen Hart showing a sign of respect to Shannon Moore. Oh, man. And then speaking of match, people who do not talk about respect, these two men do not respect each other at all. But And about that superb wrestling and great heat, Steven Regal defeats Raven with a Regal stretch. That is two pay-per-views in a row that Steven Regal has had Raven's number, Justin. Uh, did he call him? What? Yeah, he. I think. Well, I, well, I sent you a text. <laughs> you left me. You left me on red. That just big uh, win for Stephen Regal. Yeah, big win for Stephen Regal. After the match, Stephen Regal. Yeah, he, uh, he, he celebrates in the ring. He's stoked. He looks in the ring and he does that like a uh, hand around the waist belt motion, Justin. Steven Regal wants a belt. I want a belt, too. I'm champion. Everyone, everyone should get a belt. Like, hold your pants up. Yeah, unless... Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess, yeah. So Owen Hart is, is backstage. He's like, oh, Brett's like, oh, Owen, great win. But before they can really get into it, they are attacked, Justin, by Too Cool, Grandmaster Sexay, and Scotty Too Hottie. Scotty Too Hottie and Grandmaster Sexy just... Beat. Attack the hearts. Yeah, I guess so. That's. I, I, I trust me. I trust me. I know you're shook up too. I'm devastated. I can't believe it, Chad. I cannot believe I can't it. Believe it. You just. I, just I, it's, I can't believe it. There's just no loyalty anymore. But in a match, Justin, we've got our universal championship match, and in about that great heat and great wrestling and good heat, Samoa Joe defeats Ken Shamrock in a one-on-one -on -one cage match. With a dragon sleeper, and Samoa Joe made defense number one of the Universal Title. Ken Shamrock took a stunt bump. A stunt bump. A stunt bump. He did a moon salt off the cage. No way, fucking Shamrock's pulling out moon salts. <laughs> Stop lying. 
<laughs> Stop he, lying. He did, a, he did a high cross body. He did a fucking okay. I'll take it. Samoa so Joe still champion. Samoa Joe still champion. If he just would have climbed the cage instead of doing the high cross body, some Chris Jericho shows up to the ring. This is to crown the world champion. Jericho comes out to the ring. Shawn Michaels comes out to the ring. These two men are in the ring. The bell's about to ring. And then all of a sudden, <coughs> Justin, we have music from Shannon Moore. Uh-oh. The Cruiserweight Classic guy? The Cruiserweight Classic winner. He shows up, and he comes into the ring, and he says, I'm cashing in my Cruiserweight Classic wow. match. Wow. Right now. Justin, it's a triple threat match. Shannon Moore, Jericho, and Shawn Michaels. What a big dumb idiot doing it before a match with Shawn Michaels and Jericho involved. Just wait until after. Well, well, I, I mean, will that pay? Is it a big brain play, Chad? Let's see. You tell me. Explain the matches, Chad. Yeah, yeah. It's it's you know it's a it's a triple threat match. You know, uh, both <laughs> we'll Jericho see. and Jericho and Shawn Michaels they had their they had their their uh, they were prepared for each other. You know, um, Jericho hit Shawn Michaels with the sweet chin music, and J and Shawn Michaels hit a uh, Jericho with a lion with a lion tamer. These two men knew each other very well, and but one thing they weren't accounting for is Shannon Moore and Shannon Moore. Was able to uh, was was able to take advantage of that surprise when he hit Chris Jericho with a morgasm and may and wins the WCW World Heavyweight Title. Unbelievable! Shannon Moore is your World Heavyweight Champion. Shannon he, Moore is World Champion, he baby. Pinned Chris Jericho. This is a crazy world we live in. What a world. After the match, your world champion, Shannon Moore, celebrates with his world heavyweight championship. Tears in his eyes. Shannon Moore's done it. The boyhood dream Moore has come true. You know, yeah, Great American Bash, Shannon Moore. The Great, Amer the great American dream uh, was accomplished at the Great American Bash. Who would have thought, man? Really? I mean, who genuinely, who would have thought? And our main event, the U.S. belt on the line in a Scars and Stripes ladder match. And in a super bout, Chris Benoit defeats Takamichi Noku, Hardcore Holly, Mick Foley, Shane Douglas, and Canyon in a ladder match. And he, when he, not, he did not retrieve the item. No, far from it. He planted his flag on top of the stand, on top of the ladder, and retained. The U.S. Championship. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He celebrates his win. He's got his U.S. Championship belt. And all of a sudden, you hear the music of one real American. Unbelievable. And Hulk Hogan shows up, Justin. And Hulk Hogan and Benoit, the real American heroes, celebrate in the ring to send the crowd home happy. No one's happy seeing Benoit celebrate, Chad. I'm joking. I'm joking. Good for Benoit. What about big match for Benoit? Main event in Great American Bash. Let's see what this did. In 89. Respectable, 89. Chad. Okay. All right. All right. But, Chad? Oh, I knew that. I knew the King of the Ring was, was going to do better. Another one for the good guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's, um, that's now. Man, I don't. You haven't had a solo win, Chad, in since February week four. This just shows that we're due for one. Listen, you've had two tied wins, but you have never solo beat me in a pay per view, and you haven't won a week. You haven't had the best show on a week since February. Look at that. Listen, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, Justin. Uh, I'm worried, Chad. I'm oh, worried. We got, we got, we'll be fine. We'll be I'm, fine. I'm worried for you. But we'll see you. We got Shannon Moore as our world champion. Why would we be worried? Shannon Moore and Samoa Joe are your world champs, by the way. Yes, exactly. All right. We'll see you for episode 16, point. the King of the Ring aftermath, the Great American Bash aftermath. We're now on the road to the Bash of the Beach. No mercy. SummerSlam's in a month. Fucking 
Who cares? Let's go. We'll see you.